This is one of the long vista avenues that they've created here at East Ruston and the key focal point in the distance is the church over at Haysborough. There we are, if I zoom in, what a wonderful long vista that gives you. These crisscrossing avenues really do draw the eye and create interest in the garden design. Giving you various options in terms of paths that you take throughout the garden. Catmints at the base of this avenue of fruit trees are almost finished now in the uh, middle of August. But the actual fruit is looking fantastic. Let's go and have a closer look at that. Absolutely masses of apples on this espaliered apple tree. I think this one looks like a discovery. Almost ripe now, ready for picking. But the fruits are quite small because it's been such a dry season for them. I've now made our way down to the end of the avenue with the catmints and fruit trees on one side. Then again the path splits back down towards an orchard. And then we've got these absolutely enormous pots of hosta. And what a beautiful hosta it is. Bluey green leafed. Absolutely huge. And the stalks on this, again, coming out of some fantastic pots. What beautiful, well-grown hostas. And up here we're onto another gravel pathway with Nicosianas flowering beautifully. And there's still a good flush here of a Clematis. And next to that, on these pyramids, a nice white flowering rose. And this is a lovely combination planting. They've put what's going to be some box edging on this, but it's still not confluent. Growing on nicely, it's looking very healthy. But this should fill in between these pillars of Euonymus, I think it is. Still looking very good despite the dry weather that we've been having. And these Nicotianas are really doing very nicely. The scent off these is wonderful. This planting is particularly good at this time of year. Still got an amazing amount of colour. And I've got a little companion just walking through the garden. Hello. Yeah, come say hello. The grasses planted with the clematis and the roses. Got phloxes flowering away, which is the white. Nicotiana planted through the borders. And it's all really popping at this time of year. Looking very, very nice. Particularly drawn to these alliums. You can see the traditional early one that's now just a dried seed head. They're still beautiful and we keep them for as long as they stand. But this much later, more compact cone-like flower is doing its thing now in August and it's absolutely lovely. And alongside that we've got this absolutely gorgeous rose, which is in full bloom. Lovely, curvaceous, full double, crinkled almost in the petals, with this peachy apricot colour fading to pink. And it looks really good in this mixed planting. We're at the back of the old vicarage gardens here, on a one-way system through a very tropical feeling bit of the garden. Very lush full planting, coming up to a formal bit here with walls. And through again on the back of the garden, very tropical with the palms, and lush hydrangea and an under planting. And 
these fantastic fuchsias in these pots at the front door. Flowering. Wonderfully. These are lovely, this little fine leaf daisy growing in these pots. In the courtyard garden on the back of the cottage. All looking very lush. Further giant pots of hostas with a beautiful urn on a plinth through a viewpoint in a 18 foot beach hedge if I just pan back. Fantastic. You should, if we ever put the conservatory on the other bit of the kitchen the garden room, that's what it should be like. Mm -hmm. focused in on this agapanthus which is a lovely blue variety growing about three foot but of a variegated foliage. More giant variety agapanthus these planted in the most enormous terracotta pot. Must be four foot tall and probably three and a half to four foot diameter with a large leafed Beautiful large ball flower blue. Absolutely gorgeous. We're now in one of the uh, wall garden areas. Greenhouse at the back with another planting of agapanthus. And the mixed board is looking fantastic. Phloxes, roses. Use a lot of dahlia here, which gives them that burst of colour in late summer. 
absolutely spectacular agapanthus here. Growing really tight in front of this glass house. Beautiful rich blue. In this glass house there's this, what we think is a jasmine. Jasminoide something, blue, no scent to it whatsoever. Growing nicely on this back wall. Lots of geraniums on the front. And my friend the cat's come back. Making his escape. <laughs>